Ray. Ray. Let's do it. All right, early round action here featuring the American top team train flyweight contender Alessandre Pantoja. Injuries limited him to just one appearance in 2020, but now he is back in a more regular competing cycle, and the results really speak for themselves. This man poses danger everywhere. The danger factor particularly high on the ground when it comes to his submission game, but if you sleep on him on the feet, he'll put you to sleep. Just ask Matt Schnell. Oh, sidekick, well timed there. Punch got blocked there. He's trading huge shots. Let's see if he's going to be the last man stand. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so here's the perennial welterweight contender, Leon Rocky Edwards. Nice to see him finally realize a championship opportunity there in Salt Lake City. This is a five-tool player, though. A lot of people fancy him just a striker. Haven't watched all the film of that, I can assure you. He can wrestle, he can grapple, can even choke you out if need be. Going to be very interesting to see stylistically how he chooses to approach this matchup tonight. Nice shot by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect with his hands. Now changes the level. Full on mixed martial arts. Yeah, he can do it all. He's a fantastic striker. A guy that can mix it up. A guy that knows exactly where the opening is and isn't shy to take that over. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Fast pace here in the early going. first round here. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting him. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Edwards, his cheek looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, yeah, that 
was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Right here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by knockout, the no time. Ready to fight. Ready. Do it. All right, early round action here, and you may not want to get up during a Brandon Royval fight. He believes he is the most exciting fighter in this flyweight division. And candidly, when you look at recent results, it's hard to argue otherwise. He is now healthy. The arm injury has fully healed, and Royval is ready to exact his revenge on this flyweight division. So one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank. Oh! Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Oh, another knockdown! Back to the feet. So that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now he's passed and trying to find that shot again. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, man, good stick to the body. Pantoja's eye now closing up. Now some uppercuts. He better do, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. And now some separation. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Nice. Under a minute now to go in round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot, quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Leg entry outside to the watch. Nicely done. 
Roy Ball gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. One shot for the end of round one. All right, there's the end of the round. What a fight we've got, man. I mean, multiple knockdowns, and how about the beard on that one? You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands an eight massive hook. Oh, Continue to put his opponent on wobbly legs. his feet. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. In one round. Pantoja's bleeding from the mouth now, a cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Ooh, big shot land. Pantosa's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Number one play on Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, 